Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have an awesome product to show you guys. It's a budget bezel less smartphone with some awesome features. It's made by this company called Maze and the model is Alpha. A lot of people have asked me to make a video on a budget bezel less phone so I just had to get this phone for you guys. So the Maze Alpha comes in this box packing. It's a 6 inch bezel less phone. You've got the Maze Alpha branding here. It comes in this decent box and looks very simple. At the back side you've got the features of this phone. It's a 6 inch bezel less smartphone, has an MTK Helio P25 octa-core CPU, has dual rear cameras, comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB ROM, runs on Android N out of the box, has a USB Type-C port, 4000mAh battery and also has a fingerprint scanner on the front. So those were some of its specs, there's nothing much written on it, let's get started with the unboxing. I wanna thank Gearbest for sending me this product for review purpose. Ok, let's open the box and check out the phone. So here it is guys, the Maze Alpha. Oh, it's quite big. It's actually a 6 inch phablet. Let me just take it out of this tray. So here is the Maze Alpha. It looks beautiful. It comes in black color. The body is completely made of glass with aluminum frame at the sides. Let's just keep it over here and see what else do we get in the box. You have a SIM ejection tool here. Let's open this packet. You got some paperwork. It's a warranty card and a user manual. Now make sure to read it as it has complete info on the product. And also you get a free screen protector for the phone. It's a tempered glass screen protector. That is nice so you don't need to buy one separately. You also get a charging adapter in the box. It's a fast charger. So yes the Maze Alpha supports fast charging. And a USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfer. So these were all the items you got in the box. Now let's check out the Maze Alpha. It has a big 6 inch IPS display with 83% screen to body ratio. It has thin bezels on three sides and the lower part has a bigger bezel. That's because they've placed a fingerprint scanner which also doubles as a home button and a front facing 5 megapixel camera at the right bottom corner. The overall design looks good. At the top you've got the front earpiece. The frame of the phone is completely made of metal and on the left side you've got a micro SD card and a SIM tray slot. It's a 4G dual SIM smartphone and supports nano type SIM cards. On the right side you've got a power button and a volume rocker about that. The buttons also feel nice and clicky. At the top you've got the antenna bands and a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the bottom you've got a microphone, a single speaker and a USB Type-C port. That is very nice. The back of the phone looks like this. It has a glass back panel which I believe is Gorilla Glass 4. It has a dual camera setup at the back. One is a 13 megapixel and the other is a 5 megapixel. You've also got an LED flash beside that and the Maze logo at the bottom. I have to tell this guys, the phone feels really premium. The build quality is very nice but it's definitely heavy. It weighs about 227 grams which I believe is due to that big 4000mAh battery inside. Let's power it on and see if it's got some juice in it. Till the time it powers on, let's go through the specs. It has a 6 inch 1080p IPS display with a curved 2.5D glass, has an MTK Helio P25 octa-core CPU, has 4GB RAM and 64GB ROM, runs Android 7.0 Nougat, has dual 13 plus 5 megapixel cameras at the back and a 5 megapixel camera on the front. Comes with 4000mAh lithium polymer battery and weighs about 227 grams. So I've set up the phone guys and also installed the screen protector on it. This is how beautiful it looks like. The fingerprint scanner on it works very well. It's fast, accurate and unlocks the phone almost 90% of the time. The fingerprint scanner also doubles as a back button and a home button. And also you've got on-screen navigation buttons that can also be disabled if you don't want from the settings. It runs 7.0 Nougat and has a stock Android experience. There is no bloatware on it. I've just installed Nova Launcher on it and everything feels buttery smooth. This is how the notification panel looks like. It looks just like stock Android. Let's check out the settings app. This is how the settings look like. In the display settings, we've got this special Mira Vision engine that optimizes and improves the picture quality. You've got a ton of settings in there, so you can fine tune the display to suit your needs. Ok, let's check out how much storage is available on it. It's a 64GB model and out of the box you get about 50GB of usable space. I've installed few apps and games and still left with 44GB of available space. So we've got a plenty of storage on this phone. Let's go to the about section. As you can see it's running Android 7.0 and has the September 2017 security patch and also guys I've received up to 3 OTA updates when I powered it on. So the company is also releasing OTA updates for this phone, that is nice. Now let's talk about the display quality. It has a full HD IPS display and it looks really good. 
The sharpness is nice, the colors are vibrant and the white balance is also good. Coming to the viewing angles, the display looks crisp and punchy no matter from where you view it. And also I have to say this, the display is very bright, you can easily view it even under direct sunlight conditions. And watching videos on the 6 inch bezel-less display feels amazing. Just have a look at this video clip. Now let's play some music and test the quality of the speaker. It has a downward facing speaker and the quality was nice but the audio output was low. Wish it was a little bit louder. Coming to the benchmarks, I ran Geekbench 4 on it and it got a single core score of 666 and a multi core score of 2166, which was okay for the price point. And in Antutu, it scored about 59,200. This phone can easily handle heavy games and regular day to day activities. Now let's check out the gaming performance. Let's start with Asphalt 8. The gaming performance was good, I was playing the games at high graphics settings and the phone handled them without any sweat. The gameplay was smooth, there was very minimum lag and the game felt really immersive when playing on the 6 inch bezel less display. I also played MC5 on it, just check out the gameplay. Now coming to the camera quality, the Maze Alpha has a 13 plus 5 megapixel dual camera setup at the back. The photos turned out to be good, the detail was nice, the colors were punchy and the dynamic range was also ok. It also has a special blur mode on it where it uses that secondary 5 megapixel camera to create a shallow depth of field in the photos, but it wasn't that accurate, it was just keeping the image sharp at the center and blurring out the remaining part of the image. Just check out these samples. The front 5 megapixel camera was giving good results in both indoor and outdoor conditions. The Maze Alpha can shoot videos in 1080p 30fps. The video quality was good, but the autofocus was hunting for every 2 to 3 seconds. Just check out this video clip. Talking about the battery life, it has a 4000mAh battery and the battery life was good. 
I was easily getting about 2.5 to 3 hours of screen on time at 60% brightness with normal usage including light gaming. You can easily get about a day to day and a half's battery with this kind of usage. So that was my review on the Maze Alpha bezel less smartphone. It's an awesome phone guys. The build quality is nice, the display looks amazing, the performance is good and the camera is also decent. The only thing I didn't like is it's a bit bulky and feels really heavy for a phone. But apart from that, it's awesome for the price. It costs about 10,000 rupees and is available on Gearbest. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can get it from there. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.